Leave the Patty. Stepping foot in French love. Wee wee. Wee wee. Of course, come to the first place and we get a pina colada. He's on the uh, cherry coke. Get some food. It's a cute little place. Our pizza's just calm. What have you got? I've got a margarita with ham and a pina colada. Our hotel is just up here. We've struggled a bit with the luggage. <laughs> and this is the hotel. Whee! Hotel Trivago. Hotel Trivago. There's like a perfect place to put the camera. It's like on the hand washes. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. We have arrived in Paris. So far we have got the Eurostar, obviously. I was really surprised because they didn't um, check our passports. Um, obviously they checked it when we were leaving London, but then they didn't check it once we got to Paris. So we just sort of got off the train and then that was it, you're in Paris. It was really weird. We struggled to find somewhere to eat just because we wanted to not be right outside the station because it was all like the commercial stuff like Burger King and um, Five Guys and stuff. So then we walked a little bit further and got some nice lunch at this little pizza place called Pizza Co. We got a bus back to our hotel and that's where we are now. We were going to go to the Sacre Coeur thing, the church, but it's up a hill. We found out it's like the highest point, the second highest point in France or Paris. So we were like, mm, not with a case, thank you very much. So we've come back to the hotel. Here we are. I'm doing makeup ready for the evening. Evening. we've got a boat cruise and a dinner well we've not booked a dinner but we're gonna go for dinner somewhere and we're gonna go see the Eiffel Tower as well because we've not seen it yet to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed in the hotel because I booked like a, a double room but it's just much smaller than I thought like we've got a bed a double bed it's just got a desk then that's it let me show you so you come in and then boom I mean we've not unpacked properly yet Daniel looks dead but yeah got my case there there's a desk here. It looks bigger in the camera, actually. This is the bathroom. The bathroom's quite nice. Look at our view. I kind of just feel like I have to laugh at this point. <laughs> laugh or cry. I made sure that I booked somewhere with like a balcony view, not realizing that it's not always gonna be a city view, it's just gonna be a balcony view of the building. There we go, lesson learned. The hotel itself is actually quite nice. The, the reception people were really friendly and there's like free tea and coffee and water, there's free sweets um, and it's like all pink decor, which I like. But yeah, I'm getting ready. Any words? Oui, oui. Have you learned any French yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> One guess where we are. It's so pretty! I don't know if you can hear me, but we've got to the main bit of Paris and look, it's so striking. I was just saying, like, that's why I get why it's such a touristy thing because, oh, look at my nails as well. I get why it's such a touristy thing because it's just so striking and it's just on its own and it's so pretty. Thoughts? It's all right. It's, it's nice. I want to see it in the daytime as well. Yeah. And also it's going to sparkle in like 10 minutes. Are you happy to be in Paris? Oui. oui. <laughs> We're heading to Rue de Université, I think it's called, which is like the known TikTok street to get a good picture of the Eiffel Tower. It's supposedly not that busy, but I can already see loads of people taking pictures there. <laughs> Smile! <laughs> Merci! <Yeah. laughs> guys and welcome back to this mismash mismash mismatched mismatch mismatch or matched Match. mismatch vlog is it mismatched so i come to you from the river Vine. 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 um i don't actually know how to pronounce it Saint sane sign i don't really know i'm not very cultural clearly we have had a bit of a met what this quality is awful Okay. <laughs> I come to you from 
towel. <laughs> um, we've had a bit of a mess, so we went to the, the Ruler University or whatever it is, which is like the TikTok street to get some pics. And then we were like, oh, it's like 10 minutes until it sparkles, so we'll just wait here, get a little cute couple picture. Um, and it didn't sparkle. So that was brilliant. We made like five minutes. Um, so I don't know why it doesn't sparkle actually. It should be sparkling soon. It should be sparkling in four minutes. Um, and then we just had a crepe. Well, I had a Nutella crepe and hot chocolate. Dan had a Fanta and a salted pretzel. Um, and now we're on. Oh, yeah, we were going to go on this at half seven. And, and it's the one time that they don't do in the day. So it's now we get on the eight o'clock one. So it departs in four minutes. And we're going to have a little tour. Oh yeah, um, it's no, literally time to be real. <laughs> right, do yours first. <laughs> and now Martin, you ready? Sharp for me, so I made him drink it all. <laughs> Good evening. We are back at the hotel. It is like half past ten. We just missed the supermarket time, so we're gonna go in and get some snacks and stuff. We got some popcorn from um earlier. Um, oh, I just waffle every time I turn the camera. Oh yeah, so we went on the boat trip and it was good. We moved downstairs because it was bloody cold. It was an hour. We saw like the main stuff. So I feel like we know our bearings now. We went to have some food at quite an expensive place, but it's quite cute. Right near the Eiffel Tower called the, what was it? The Castel Cafe or something. It was quite nice. I just had a plate of chips because I had my crepe earlier as well. Getting a full French spirit. And then we've just got the bus back. We're trying to figure out the buses because I don't really understand how it works because we paid 250 each earlier, but then we Googled and that only lasts for like two hours, like around Paris. But then we saw loads of people just getting on and we're like, oh, I don't really understand how it works. Um, so we need to figure that out tomorrow. And then tomorrow we've got quite a jam packed day. It's half 10 now, so we're gonna go to bed and yeah, get ready for the morning. Morning, we're stupid and we went to the wrong entrance. We went to the staff, I think it's the staff entrance. And now, yeah, and, but now it says entry de public, which I think means public entrance. So we've gone to the conciergerie thing, the ex prison, which I always find really fascinating. Like when I went to Alcatraz, I literally loved it. So here we go. So we're in prison <laughs> and Dan's just working out the histopad thing. Somehow we went through three security checks before we found the actual place. We went to the staff entrance of the Court of Justice Festival. Then we just went to the Court of Justice for some reason. Yeah, I I so. We finally got here, we went to the wrong place twice, but we're finally here. So we're now about to have a look around the prison. And we have like a histopad so you can see like a, what it used to look like.
Bourgeois. I'm in my new scarf that I got from a souvenir shop. I'm gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> What are you done? <laughs> He's putting salt on his um, latte. <laughs> Merci. Sensational. We're at the Louvre and we're about to go inside the Louvre and the sun's just come out and it makes such a difference because it makes the sky look so blue and nice. So I didn't think there would be, but there is a little queue to get to the Mona Lisa, which is all the way back there. Look how extravagant this is, like every part of this room. And it's just so detailed everywhere. The ceiling is incredible. We are absolutely sweating. There's so many people here. Of course we couldn't come to a different country without coming to the McDonald's. We get him. All of it. <laughs> sort of cardboard. We've had a mare and they didn't give us a spoon. Got no spoon. So, so we try. Improvise, adapt, overcome. <laughs> it's really sunny though. Look. Mm. How's your McDonald's? Bon appetit? Wait. Oh. My hair is not working. <laughs> oh, it's cold in my teeth. Yeah, I don't know why you bit it. I don't want to suck the cardboard. <laughs> Getting the Metro for the first time. We just got all tickets. We just asked the guy, I'll be honest, because we don't want to fuck around trying to do. Made it to the Arc de Triomphe. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> huh? He's embarrassed because he's wearing a headband. Even though I look like this the whole time. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh, we're almost there. Oh my god, there's still some more stairs. Sleep. Oh. Oh, mind your head. Oh my god. I'm crying. I can't. 
come to you from a very pretty view up the Arc de Triomphe overlooking Paris. Up the tower is just there. Good evening. I'm on four percent, so I'm going to keep this brief. But it is the evening, afternoon slash evening of day two. We got up early, went to the conciergerie, went to Notre Dame. Even though that was a bit disappointing because they're doing this building work, so we ended up just sitting in a cafe near it. And then we, what did we do after that? I went to the Louvre. The line was misleadingly like really long, but actually it only took probably like twenty minutes ish. 20 and a half an hour to actually get in there. We're in there for a while, although it was so, so busy. Saw some like sculptures, saw the Mona Lisa, saw one of the rooms that's like the, what do you call, what was the room that's like all really gold and stuff? Na Napoleon's room got, yeah, but cool to them. Anyway, it was really fancy. And then we were absolutely knackered, so we went to... Oh, we got McDonald's. Yeah, we tried the McDonald's. And we sat outside and had that because it was actually nice weather and it's blue skies. Then we went and got the Metro for the first time to the Arctic Tree. I went up that. More stairs than I thought, prettier than I thought. You get really good views. Really lucky with the weather today. We're both knackered. We went to the California bar and I got another coconut drink. I do want a pina colada again tonight. Got a coconut yacht. We got a Fanta Exotic. And then we got these Fanta um, dragon fruit and mango, which actually are really nice. And then I've got some sweets as well. I have these all the time every time I go abroad, like to France or Spain. They're really nice. Um, and now I think we're going to have... What are we going to have now? It's a little bit. No, 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 before that. What are we doing right now? Apart from that. <laughs> nap. Oh, yeah. We're having a nap because <laughs> we're both shad and our feet are aching. So we're going to have a nap and then we're just taking in the views <laughs> It's really warm in the room, so we've opened the door, but it doesn't even open properly, so it just hits the bed if there, but yeah, and that's what you get when you have a back facing room. I'm gonna take my makeup off because it feels really gross because I've had it on since like 8 a.m., 7 a.m. And then have a power nap, and then we're gonna go out for an Italian at Niao hotel for some dinner, and then probably have an early night. It is midnight and we have just got KFC. We made a boo-boo. What's the boo-boo? Uh, we had a nap. We had a nap. That was supposed to be like say 20 minutes and it was like three hours <laughs> so we woke up well i woke up at like 10 p.m was like right i'm wide awake now so we're just lying there for a bit on our phones and then we we're like right well, we've not actually had dinner so <laughs> health <laughs> we've gone and got kfc and we're just eating it in bed and i can't remember if i said but we tried these and they're actually really nice so we had a late night for us we are crazy I'm literally just downing this whole thing. So I love coconut more than anything. And it's a coconut yacht. We just went to the supermarket. We went to get breakfast first at a really nice pastry place. We got some pan glass and some brioche. I'm really sporty. I've got sports growing here. Got some snacks. I got this stuff that I love and I always take home. I'm gonna do makeup and then we're going to the Eiffel Tower. We're gonna go to the Rue Claire, which is like all the markets and stuff. We're gonna go to that first. And then gonna go to the Eiffel Tower, um, the Trocadero Gardens, which is nearby. Um, and then gonna go to Corette as well. And then we've got the Pantheon later as well, but that's not till the afternoon. But I'm talking really quietly. I hope you can hear me. We are ready for the day out. Yeah, back to the Eiffel Tower. Rate your pan of chocolate out of 10. It's gotta be nine and a half. Nine and a half? Of all pan of chocolates, really? Yeah, easily. Nice. They always get shit ones from the from like Sainsbury's or Tesco's. Um, and that was what the about brioche out of ten? Six and a half. Oh, low. Yeah. Just yeah, more like bread. <laughs> Bye. 
We made it. So you can hear how much I'm breathing heavily. <laughs> Would you just ask? Where's the Yard Hotel? So weird, where is it? All of the buildings are so uniform, like they're all this white cream colour and the tops are that sort of grey blue colour. It's a shame that the sky is not blue, like it was trying to be blue earlier, like over there you can see it's blue. But at the moment it's just grey and cloudy. We just went there. Well wait, wait, so we only went there? Yeah, oh my goodness. Yes, it really is far to go to the very top. Well, that felt high enough for me, thank you very much. <laughs> Rate your experience going up the Eiffel Tower. It's good. It's good. At least a strong seven and a half. Seven and a half. I feel like, it has, to, I feel like it has to be done. Um, this is a cute little area. Look. Views. Blue skies. Oh, I hope I don't get copyrighted. <laughs> pretty and the sky is blue such a pretty bit of scaffolding <laughs> yeah. can't remember if i showed the scarf or not that i got from a souvenir shop it was only six euros which is like five pounds five pound fifty dub Dan's just found the chocolate shop, which has my name written all over it. I think I found the Pantheon.
the Majillies. I've just come out the Pantheon, as you can see behind me, which is an extravagant building. It's pretty big. Pretty big. We saw the tombs of like Marie Curie. Um, and we saw, what's the pendulum called? Do you remember the name of it? No. We saw a pendulum theory thing. We are at a cafe, bakery that's the word, um, we went out for dinner last night, had some burgers and some, what do you call it, sauté potatoes, um, had a couple of pina coladas, sat and had a drink, we just checked out and we're currently at the bakery, eating, eating some food, got some pan chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks, it's got a cappuccino, pan chocolates. <laughs> There a tram. There's a cute puppy dog coming. Oh! I think we found where we need to go. <laughs> Up there. But to get there, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of steps. I'm worn out. Oh look, there's the gondola thing next to us. We've chosen to take the stairs. Best place in the world to be. <laughs> ah, we just found the best place in the world. Hello, 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 hello. There's so many. Oh, <laughs> oh there's some fun things going on over there. Oh my god. What has been the best part of your puppy experience? Um, the puppy bit. The puppy bit, yeah. Really? You didn't even stroke him <laughs> that much. No, no, I'm done. I'm dropping him. I have having chili sandwich today. <laughs> well, yeah, it's um, a statement and a half. He said it was his best ham and cheese sandwich yeah, ever. Yeah, like the little bakery by a hotel. It was unreal. Yeah. Nice crunchy bread. <laughs> <laughs> nice crunchy bread. Nice butter. Yeah. Top notch, really. Can't beat it. So you come to Paris, and the best thing is a ham and cheese sandwich. We. Can't say anything else. It'll be a hot chocolate. No. Oh yeah. To be fair, we're going to Corret next. Um, are we going to Corret? We're we going to Zara. Yeah, but. Do you reckon we might have a lot of shopping? Yeah, it's fine. 
Okay, well, we're going to Corette slash Zara, and I'm looking forward to it. Because I said I'm not leaving Paris without going to Corette and seeing and having a hot chocolate. The classic TikTok place of Karat, yeah. and you can see TikTok maybe do it because it's literally a queue. Yeah. I didn't even vlog at dinner, I don't think. I think I might have shown the food, but we had some nice food at this place called Ozio. It's really lovely. So we had some arancini and I had um, spaghetti, no, not spaghetti, like penne bolognese, and you had a ham and mushroom pizza. And then we went back to the hotel, got our luggage, got the metro to Eurostar. And that is it, that concludes the Holly Bobs. Back in ends. Back in ends. Well, we're at some high press at the moment, waiting for the train. Trip advisor, rate your trip. No way back to crap. <laughs>